I love like you and I are talking in the one window and then everything that we just did is then showing itself in the other window with my split screen. <laughs> and that just cracks me up because we do so much work with multiple timelines. So to have it in our faces. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> Yeah, I, I told you about the YouTube channel I came across that talked about it, where you actually go into the future and it happened and you come back and it made such an impression that you remember it in the past life. And it's just one of those things that my head's still going round and round trying to figure out to properly explain. But it was really, uh, it was definitely a unique view on deja vu. So yeah. once I once I get a better grip on explaining it, uh, we'll, we'll have a... An evening chat about it. Yeah. Well, but, I know when I go to visit my parallel lives, um, sometimes they're doing things that I've already done. And so I get to just like hang out and experience it again. And I'm like, wow, they did it so much. Or, you know, again, when I'm writing, I'll visit a parallel life that's already written what I'm working on. So I can just like copy them. Just grab the book and bring it back. <laughs> I, I kind of do. In a way, I kind of do. Um, but when I was in Greece, when I lived in Greece, I was 13. And we went to the city of Mistra, which is uh, a northern city with the Pyrenees Mountains behind it, like mountains. And the city was way up at the top of a mountain with plateaus going up to it on the front half, but the back half was a sheer cliff. Oh, wow. And this was like the most Northern border city of Greece okay. because you couldn't attack from the North. It was a sheer cliff. And then the South facing, it was so well protected that they could be, uh, what, what is it called when they're like holding the, putting the city to siege and so no one can go in, no one can go out. They could survive for years that way, no problem. They were so well set up. Yep. That's the city that um, Alexander the Great's father, when he came down and invaded Greece, they did climb up the cliffs. And when, once they took Misra, the rest of the country fell. Interesting. Didn't know yes. that. So we're there. And my friend Jerry and I, there was a, a whole group of us. There was a large group of us. It was a school event. So we were there on a field trip. And I remember Jerry and I, like, I'm walking around with deja vu. I'm like, I know this place. I'm walking into rooms and I knew what they were. Oh, and wow. then I ran in, like all the other kids, they're playing tag and climbing and whatever. I saw Jerry and he and I looked at each other and I realized he also had the same deja vu. And he said, I lived here. And I said, I lived here. And then I said, did you go in the kitchen? He's like, yeah, it's over there. Did you go there? And we're like, did you go here? Did you go there? And then I'll say to him, I'll meet you at the whatever room. And he'd go one way, I'd go another way. And we'd run through this place we'd never been before. And we'd end up in the right place. Like we knew this place. And um, anyway, the story goes on and on, but that was a deja vu because we had both had past lives there. Yeah, I had it down further south um, over in Athens when I was uh, Happy New Year Eve and uh, New Year's tomorrow. Yeah. Um, hey, Leah, call me tomorrow because I keep forgetting to call you, but I have been sending Pranashakti every day like we talked about. I just forgot to tell you I was doing it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 